Hello everybody. So I am making a video here on a set of Corsa server setup, specifically speaking on weather control, time control, um, rain setup, all that stuff. Uh, after much searching through YouTube, I went through about three different methods on ways to figure this out. And I found out a recent update makes this super easy. So follow along with me here today, and we're going to go through this together. So um, there are a few prerequisites that you need. I do this for all of our streams here, um, or actually over on Twitch, but, uh, this is going to be the most basic way. I'm going to be setting up Brooklyn park here, a server with just a set of cars on there and make it so that we're able to while in there, give ourselves admin privileges and be able to hop in, change the weather to whatever we want. Um, some of the prerequisites that I have, I know you need to be on uh, 1.77 or higher for your CSP settings with Content Manager. Helps to have Content Manager here. Uh, this is how I build out all my servers. Uh, if this is the server tab is not enabled, you'll be able to go into your settings there and enable this tab. So the setup's just like any other server. You're going to set up your track, your cars in your entry list. And this is the important part. Make sure that you give yourself a password. So we're going to just call it pass for now. Um, you, you can have your welcome message in there. Just make sure that once you finish up the server, I usually tend to pack this twice so that you can get this um, uh, sourced in the right place. Uh, all your ports and everything, uh, there's plenty of guides out there on how to set up port forwarding and everything like that that you need. So you're going to go through your entry list real quick. We just got some WDTs in there. And then in here, all of your, your standard settings and conditions. So this is where it kind of gets important. So you want to make sure that you have weather effects enabled. Uh, if you're running uh, CSP 1.77 or higher, you're going to have weather effects included with your settings. I personally am running the 1.8 preview. It was worth it to just hop over, pay the few bucks for the Patreon and get that sweet, sweet rain. So um, when we're looking at our conditions here, I just have it set to eight o'clock. Uh, we got a two X multiplier, and then I have one weather preset as weather effects. So the multiple ways that I've had to try to set this up before was doing crazy things such as put in your welcome text, you know, uh, for testing purposes only, you know, rain intensity set to this. This update came out I want to say a few weeks ago, I haven't seen content on it before. And when I found out about it, I was definitely uh, shaking my head. So uh, you can make your uh, your session or whatever. We have this in practice because we do a lot of drifting on the channel. But uh, so everything's set up. You got everything figured out to how you want it. We are going to save this. And then you are going to pack. I chose a folder on my desktop here for simplicity's sake. We have one already in there. We'll just delete it out. Um, this is the, the folder where you're going to be creating your server setup. So in here we have our Cosmos, Brooklyn, Sunset Tonight, save. So it packs everything up for you. And there it is. The other folder you're going to need is this Aceto Server 64. So we're going to extract this into that folder. And this gives us everything that we need to run the server. Now you're going to open that file that we just packed and drop that in there as well. We're almost there, believe it or not. Uh, no fiddling with command prompts, no fiddling with saying forward slash set weather to weather setting preset number three or four. Uh, this is super easy. What I tend to do is I open it in this AC server, um, or sorry, not the AC server, the Aceto server. It's going to initially run for me and close. So part of the reason that it does this is because of checksum errors. So you open up your configuration file. You're going to go to your extra config YML file. You're going to open this up. You're going to have a bunch of stuff. If you've ever set up a Shotoko or SRP server with AI traffic, you'll know this document pretty well. But what we're looking for in here is our enable weather effects. We're going to change this value to true. I tend to just uh, copy this. And then right here, ignore configuration errors. Set that to true, 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 true. We're going to hit save. 
back out and open the same server. I tend to actually uh, call these something different. Like we'll do this one dash Brooklyn, uh, just in case you have any firewall issues and you need to make an exception, you at least know which one you're working with. I save all of these files. They're not that big and we can run different setups as needed. So we're gonna double click here. It's gonna pop up and boom, we're already up. So now let's open up Content Manager and I'm going to show you exactly what we need to do. So let's close or close this. Content Manager is back up here. We're gonna hit Drive, looking for our online file. If you cannot find your own server, it's listed right here. You can open this up in a web uh, browser and it will give you a link to open it here. We run a lot of servers here, so I, I already have this uh, favorited. All right, so here's our S14. Couldn't be more classic. Let's boot it up. So when this boots up, um, sometimes, like I've been having issues with things booting up at nighttime, not having the correct weather. I was trying to do forward slashes set weather to X value and Sometimes it works, sometimes it wouldn't. This has been the most consistent way, and it's super easy to do in every single server that you make. As long as you make that extra configuration file. So we're looking pretty good on this setup, but first thing you're gonna do, you're at your pits, you're gonna wanna do forward slash admin and that password we made. We did pass. Now it says you are now an admin for this server. We're gonna go hit drive and we have comfy map. Comfy map came out with 0 .003, 0 .003. So you would be looking at this, usually it would be displaying your map here. Uh, you could kind of minimize uh, and display that. But if we go into our all apps, if it's not shown here, because say this is the first time you're using it, you're gonna pull down here, find your menu and click on it. It's gonna pop up here, may or may not have a map depending on the file or depending on the map you're running. All we have to do is hit settings, believe it or not. And right here, you'll see your teleports and everything. And there's this new tab, weather stuff and voting buttons. We're gonna hit check admin privileges and look at this. So we have a transition speed. So let's set this to uh, nine seconds and we have a drop down for weather. Right now we have the scattered clouds on. Say we want rain, light snow, fog, clear, haze, smoke, any of that. All you have to do now is click it. You can change this at any time. We also can change our time of day. You just pull the slider and right click and boom, we're at night. Pull it forward to maybe morning. Somewhere in here. This is, this is kind of what I was talking about. I was having um, time of day issues. You can see it says it's like 3 a.m. for me. Okay, there we go. 6.40 in the morning. We can change our time dilation. And let's make it rain. Why not? Let's uh, hit... Uh, let's do normal rain. Weather has been set. I have a nine-second transition. And there it is. You can hear it starting to rain. The clouds are going to slowly transition over. And now you're running rain on your server. It couldn't be easier. Uh, I couldn't believe this. This is Comfy Map 0.003. I'm so thankful that they came out with this after like the three different methods that I learned how to do it, setting up weather on the SRP servers. Now it is insanely simple. You need to change that config file to enable weather effects, have one weather setting as weather effects, and uh, obviously uh, a latest version of CSP. Like I said, this is the CSP for 1.8, and that's going to give us that sweet, sweet <laughs> raindrops on the windshield. But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, you can, you can set it as many times as you want. Uh, you even can do voting. Um, but to be honest, this, this is enough for me. Just being able to hit a different weather type Rain has cleared. Give it about 10 seconds here. Just because that's what I said. You can set this as high as you want, 360 
or even just immediate but you know not to to blind anybody on your server just in case you're changing from day to night it helps to give that a little bit of a transition speed if you guys have any questions about this just let me know i felt like i needed to make a video on it i spent hours scouring the internet checking out assettoserver.com i will be leaving links below for comfy map 0 0.003 the Patreon for 1.8 preview, if you're looking for those weather or for the rain effects. And I will also have uh, down below the link for that server creation. Uh, part of the reason that I find that that is so crucial and important is all the different servers that I create on a daily basis. I mean, I make probably five a night for our streams on Twitch and being able to just click these open at any time click our server and start running and get right into it. So like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. This is probably like my third YouTube video on here. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, I'll try to do my best to respond to you quickly and hopefully fix your problem. But I appreciate, appreciate you guys swinging by. Check back here for any content. We're on TikTok and we stream nightly on Twitch 